what is going on everybody welcome back to another video in this one i want to jump right into this you guys saw the title of the video one of the easiest and best stocks to run the wheel strategy or covered call strategy on is pltr i'm going to show you exactly how and why and what i'm doing with this stock i've been getting dirty money okay guys so this one pltr planter I'm sure a bunch of you have heard about this one by now, um, but why is this going to be a great covered call stock? Well, first of all, it had a huge run up when it first came out, and then it's it came all the way down, and it's been on the uptrend ever since. Now they have government contracts, guys. Again, if you're going to do this on, if you're going to do covered calls on these stocks, I think you need to know what they are, what they do, how profitable they are. Things like that, because again, you do not want to do a covered call strategy or a wheel strategy on a crap penny stock. You just don't want to do it. It's not something that ev everybody talks about because they're like, oh, you can do it on a $2 stock or a $3 stock. You can, but let's go back to one that I used to do it on, and they came out with bad news, and I instantly cut it. And I made money overall, thankfully, but charge point, absolutely awful because look at this one year chart guys this was up at $12 because I remember running I wasn't even running the exact wheel strategy I was just selling puts and then I got assigned a couple times so I ran the wheel strategy back on it and did absolutely great but there was some things that happened earlier this year with some bad news on it and I got out of it so I think that's something you also got to be aware of know what you're investing into as well but pltr and i'm sure this is on everybody's radar that's actually like day trading and things like that right now it's not why it's on my list right now this stock is not a bad stock whatsoever i don't mind owning this stock and again you guys are going to see what you're risking to what you're making and this is really not bad so i actually do have a position in on this obviously not in this account because i don't have any money in my robin hood account i never do um, maybe we'll make that change here soon. But all I, all I did was I came over here, I sold a put. Now, again, where do I want to own this? Well, this stock has now, due to the news, become like a falling knife. So where does the bleeding stop? You guys see this? And if you read some news down in here, again, this is on TradingView. TradingView is free. You just got to get rid of some ads and stuff like that. You can read through all these and stuff like that. Somebody... Japan Sampo Holdings sold a, sold a chunk of their holdings in PLTR. Um, but again, they're government contracts. So just know what you're looking at right here. They had good earnings in November, and but now they just have a bunch of news about the government and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is it's at 17.22. You see that it's up a, little, a couple cents after hours. But I want to go and I want to sell an option on this. And I got to get some premium you know, for what I'm looking at. And so this is something that I actually did today. Now, I could have recorded it and I even thought about it, but I didn't. I was in a rush doing other things. But I came down here to this 15 and a half. I thought about doing the 16. I really contemplated it. But if I'm not, if I don't feel at easy about it, I don't do it and I'll go another strike price out. So I took a little $500 less of a risk. Basically, I'm going to get it at a bread price just in case this thing does continue to fall. And I'm going to get it at 15 and a half if this gets called at. And I actually didn't get it at $0.08. Cents. I actually got it at $0.10 cents this morning. So that's that. there's a difference. But let's say 8 or $0.09 cents is what we're going to get here. $0.08 cents in this case. I think is a good return. This is 8 days, guys. I didn't even go out the... 45 I normal 30 to 45 that I normally do depending on what stock and everything PLTR I wanted to do eight days I actually just just next Friday that's all you're doing eight dollars for risking fifteen hundred dollars and this is capital and cash that I had because TQQQ and spy and QQQ are all up so I'm not looking I don't I had this extra cash sitting in my account that I don't have in stocks right now that I'm looking to use so what am I doing? 15 and a half. And again, you guys all have these tools at your disposal. 15 and a half. Look at that. Boom. That's what I'm willing to risk right there. Over the next week, if not, I get an eight. I get basically look I look at it as I'm getting an eight dollar dividend, guys. That is something you all need to be looking at. 
Now, again, if you wanted to do the more like what we normally do, I could have went 30, I could have went 43 days out here. And I could have collected some more. I could have. I could have collected $38 for the $1,500. Or, you know, I could have got even out a little bit further here because people are saying $5. It's going to $5. I don't personally believe that it's going to go to $5. I could be wrong. I've been wrong. I don't know what news could still come out. I'm not an insider. I don't have that information. Um, if you do and you trade on it, it's illegal. But they still do it anyway, it seems like, in the SEC world. Um but anyways, that's besides the point. Not not angry or anything, but thirteen dollars you could have collected twelve dollars. Um, that, that's not bad. Um, you have a ninety percent chance here, and maybe if I'm going to do this, I'm probably still looking. I want to get to about that eighty-five percent chance here, and I still could have collected twenty-one dollars. But again, I'm waiting how many more weeks? Now, if the volatility stays and the hype stays around this stock. I'm going to be able to do this every week and collect 8 to $10 off that. And it's like getting an extra dividend. So, you know, I could get an extra 40 to $50 depending on where the premiums are at on this if I don't get the option called to me for $1,500. That's a great return in a month, guys. If you guys can do that every month, you're doing phenomenal. And again, this is also why you run those credit spreads on SPY and QQQ because you can get returns like this on it. Just don't over leverage yourself and put all your eggs in one basket. But this is a great stock, in my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, to be able to run the wheel strategy. Again, I'm not even against it here at the 16 and a half, but you got to remember why. Or I think it was the 16 that I was really looking at as well. So the 16, worst case scenario, we have an awful day tomorrow. I collect 14 cents. And then I want to show you why I'm not really too worried about it. Is because I'm a week out. Worst case scenario, I'm going to go to a call. And I'm going to sell it. And if you're in the money, you're at $70. And that means that that $16 or $16.5 would have had to hit the money. And I... I'm going to make another $50 off of it and that next week, guys. And again, that's where you can really make some extra money is if a stock's staying kind of flat and you're able to sell the put, you get called at a discount, and then you're able to turn around and sell that call the next week and you're able to just keep collecting income off of it, guys. And that is the basis of the wheel strategy. Again, I'm a little bit more conservative with my wheel strategy. I get a little bit further out of the money and I like to keep my cash, you know? I mean, that's how everybody works. You have your own style. A lot of people I do know that they have, if they're going to do this, they're going only to this one right here, the 16 or the 75% because they do the tasty trade rules. If you don't know who tasty trade is, there's a bunch of things out there for it. Um, Tom Saw is not created think or swim. They have different rules. And again, but they get called options more often and they run a million other strategies with options. I'm not trying to complicate my whole portfolio. I like how I do this. I like how I make my money and I invest into other things and I hit this one all the time. So they are they would probably be selling this one collecting $26 off of it, buying it at 16 and a half worst case scenario and moving on. But again, it's got a week to move. More bad news can come out. There is risk in every single trade, guys. I want that to be very clear. There's risk in all these trades. Know what you're doing with these. But PLTR, I, I really do like it over, you know, the one year. Five year, again, is a little rougher. But again, I do think that they have, they are a information company for the military. And they have these contracts and mil a lot of information buys a lot now guys it's really what goes around now the information is key in life so with that being said guys this is a great stock for those of you that are on a budget don't have a ton of money to play with maybe you want to try a credit spread guys some of these credit spreads are going to be cheap these are things that you need to be looking for and with that being said Thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope this helps somebody else out there. If you have any questions at all, comment below. I will answer the comments, and then we can go from there.